Legend I'm of Zelda. You have a sword. You hit the little guys. It it's Legend of Zelda, except the guys are all made out of ASCII. Huh. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what the point is, but it's cool. <laughs> you know, um, there was one. It was a it's like Zelda meets the Matrix. Uh, yeah, yeah, sort of ish. But no backward katakana. Yeah, except nothing like that. <laughs> um, there was a little girl in Underland, which was like, it, I, th I think the idea is if like a copy of American Miggy's Alice fell back in time to Soviet Russia and they made a game ripping it off. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like this really awkward 2D adventure kind of game. With On like a deck one or something. With just in. nonsense rambling dialogue and yeah, and pretty much no gameplay to it, but it's funny. I liked it. Mm -hmm. um, there were a couple Silent Hill ones, one, made, uh, one called Noiseless Mound. <laughs> um, it was like Sa Soundless Mountain 2, which I think was the most complete one, which, you know, is if you're playing, you know, an 8-bitty kind of Silent Hill 2, it's mm -hmm. bizarre. Um, and uh, Deity of Hostility. Which is a text adventure <laughs> version of God of War, <laughs> <laughs> and there are tons and tons more of these. Though. There were there were something like fifty entries, I think. And what's uh, the website? Um, let me see. If I find the address. It was a uh, tigsource.com. T i g s o u r c e slash features slash d makes, and they should all be on there. Oh, there was also uh, Ray pointed out there was a somebody did a eight bit NES style oh, right, version right. of Mega Man Seven. Yeah, that's been around for a little while. I haven't had a I chance to play that. it yet, but um, I played it this morning. I've seen it's screenshots of it, and it looks it's like it's a pretty <laughs> accurate rendition, except they've made it less sucky. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it'd be hard to make it more sucky. I really didn't like Mega Man. They 7. can make it Mega Man Eight. That's true. Okay. Yeah. It's it's yeah. I played it this I morning. I won't it's play totally it because playable. it's not true to the source. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Yowza. It's like the exact opposite of what Shane wanted, so it makes me happy. Yeah, that is, that is something to be said for that. Um, but yeah, th from what I've seen of it, they actually like took some of the parts where you had char or enemies that took way too many hits to be interesting and became kind of tedious and tweaked them a little bit. Yeah, they balanced it all out in uh, the easy parts they made harder. Like, mm -hmm. Burst Man's actually kind of difficult now. You know, that, mm -hmm. that kind of shit. Um, I'm cool. not going to play it all the way through. <laughs> I've already played through Mega Man 7. I don't care what it looks yeah. like or how balanced it is. I, I, I don't need to f see fucking Clown Man or whatever the fuck that was <laughs> ever again. Clown Man was 8. Oh, okay. Spring Man. That was it. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> And then there was like a race car man. I can't remember what he was called. Yeah, Turbo I, man. Who cares? <laughs> it, uh, Shane Mega man. man 7. Uh, Shane so man? Shane man. About <laughs> I hate old graphics. They're dumb. <laughs> Running out of ideas, man. <laughs> Sad rehash man. <laughs> Man, man. So uh, where, 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 <laughs> <laughs> where do you where do you go to find the Mega Man Seven D mate? Um, I'm gonna have to post that to the club. It's a long rambling nonsense Japanese. Japanese, URL. yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So I'll put that on the Retronauts Club. All right, thanks. Yep.